Success is achieved and maintained by those who try and keep trying. W. Clement Stone. My friends, each and every day, 10 to 15 minutes. That is all we ask. Let's look at these charts, see what's going on. Stocks and bonds are down for the day. Gold and Bitcoin up. What do we see happening as far as our candlesticks go? We can see on the Heiken Ashi candlesticks the movement up in the morning and then burning it off in the afternoon. And what's interesting is if we pop up just briefly and take a look at what the volume shows us, we can see where the volume slowed down all through those green candles and then we saw a lot happening with that doji in the afternoon, meaning what? that, again, people are either buying or selling on this down move. Now, again, when I say down move, it's just a little red doji. That's all it is, but it does make you wonder whether people are loading up for it to go up or selling off for it to go down. If I had to guess, probably down. We're well below the 200 EMA. Let's get rid of that volume for now. We're well below the 200 EMA. We look at the two-day now. It is still green and quite strongly green as far as the STC goes. And we see a green spinning top for the week, but really just sort of that sideways slide going along. So we do have some downward pressure on the STC. PY, which is, of course, Standard & Poor 500, big, broad sweep of the market, down 0.83% for the day with the volume, decreasing on the up move, and maybe loading up uh, for a down move here. We'll see. Again, we don't have anything yet prompting us to jump in, but we saw where that up move took us out of that down play. And again, what have we been seeing happen? We're just sort of running along in this channel, which of course we hate. We hate channels. Why do we hate channels? Because our indicators don't work well in those. We want to break out either to the upside or to the downside. And right now, as you saw with that volume, the breakout was just dying. Now, maybe there's a load up and it's getting ready to blast out. Maybe it's actually selling off and getting ready to blast down. We'll see as to what happens on Tuesday. That's where we are with the S&P 500. What about the NASDAQ 100? What do we see here? Well, again, we saw things bumping up in the morning, then down in the afternoon, very close, 0.85%. If we just take a little look at the market, we can see our volume, we can see sort of the same thing. We saw again where things blasted up in the morning on Friday, and then the volume slowed down up some, but again, but well below the average. And then, of course, in the afternoon, that doji, lots of indecision. We'll see how that plays out for us. Like we said, down for the day, 0.85%. Everything else with the NASDAQ 100, very similar to the S&P, up on the two-day as far as the STC goes, down on the weekly. And when we look at where the weekly is, of course, going to that second week of up movement, and again, not a spinning top, but a green up candle trying to form with quite a long wick on the top. And of course, the two-day, Again, not reaching the higher high, the, the most recent high yet, but getting pretty close to it. So we'll continue to watch and see how these charts develop. Are things going to spring up or are they getting ready to pound down? Can't tell. And we'll let the charts lead us because they will eventually show us. Now, let's move from stocks to bonds. Bonds down for the day, our biggest downer for the day, 1.04%. Now, again, we've seen bonds for the last few days pushing their way up and then losing that, going red in the morning and not really uh, hitting that bottom in the afternoon. The morning is where the real down move was. Now, we notice that our two-day is up, but flattening in a red down candle forming there. And on the weekly, it is still in the negative. So now we are at minus 11. 
and of course gave us an opportunity in the morning to jump into that down move. We'll see how that moves forward. Again, the last one did not work so well, but we have had good luck over the course. I'm looking back over here, 5.32% for the year up through, I believe that was the June 15 date is when I ran the numbers last time. So we'll see how this works for us. Of course, TBF is the position you jump in for the down move. So we'll see how things go. That is where we are on bonds in that short position. Now let's take a look at gold. Gold up just barely. 0.09%. It was up in the morning and then lost it in the afternoon. Lots of downward pressure on gold. That last gold short trade did nice for us. And then, of course, gold continued to plummet after that. Popped up a little bit, then down again. Popping up a little bit, like I said, in the morning, but still negative on the half-day STC. Of course, negative on the two-day and negative on the weekly Again, last week touched the 200 EMA, did not penetrate. Now we have another down candle heading that way. On the weekly, we'll see where it leads us. Lastly, we'll go to Bitcoin. Bitcoin, this is the Bitcoin Future ETF, one of the three. We think it's the best one because it has the lowest fees. Again, tracks Bitcoin, you know, rather nicely and you can buy it in any exchange. You don't have to go to a crypto exchange, some of which have had a lot of problems lately. And in addition to that, it's fairly liquid. Now, are we jumping in anything like this right now? No, we're well below the 200 EMA on the half day. On the two day, again, things are trying to pop up a little bit. First green STC we've seen since April. So again, what does that mean for us? Not a whole lot. We're still well below the 200 EMA. And where are we on the weekly? On the weekly, we're still quite negative, but a green candle's trying to form. It'd be great to see a bottom here. We would sure like it. A lot of people would like it, but of course, we've seen this try to happen before. We saw it try to happen most recently, uh, back when things sort of bottomed at 35 dollars or so popped up down a little up and then rolled back over so we're not having any of this just yet we'll continue to keep an eye on things and see where they lead us we've got a ways to go before we get above that 200 ema on the half day chart to consider going long on bitcoin but someday that will come and we will be ready for it. That is where we are, folks, as we end the day on Monday. Go to Tuesday. So great to have you with us. We love to hear from you. Don't hesitate to reach out to us. You can write us anytime, cw at chartingwealth.com.